Hi. Good afternoon. Tom Stewart of The Cleaning Business today. I'm with my partner, Liz Trotter. Hello, Liz. How are you today? I am well, thanks. Hey, I am going casual today. I, uh, it's kind of funny. I went into work for a bit and came back and did some other stuff and decided to get comfortable. So I guess I'm I guess I'm okay with it. Is it okay if I do this every once in a while, Liz? I'm you want still... just be casual? Yeah, I'm still yeah, working on it. Right. Okay. I like that shirt. This or the t-shirt? Not the t-shirt, not so much, but I like your overshirt. <laughs> The this is my my fish t-shirt from the concert late last year back when people were doing such things well yeah that's not happening anymore yeah, yeah. it's just not well, got it done got it done when we could let's see let me i'm looking for our facebook live Thank on you, my Rachel. phone hi guys Hey, I want to thank you guys. A lot of you guys hooked me up by hooked us up by going to uh, the Modern Cleaning YouTube site and subscribing to it. We got over 100 subscribers, which meant we were able to change the URL to youtube.com forward slash Modern Cleaning. So it'll make it easier for people to, to, to get to the stuff that we're doing rather than the long gobbledygook URL that would be impossible for somebody to remember. I do this every time. Hey, it's not as many people on there. But also, Bridget, thank you so much for that testimonial. You know, I read it and then I left and then I went to go find it so I could send it to Tom and I couldn't find it. <laughs> Where is it? Is it on your page? It was so awesome. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, okay, we're going to let a few people get here. Oh, just completed the course and got your certificate. Yay. Congratulations, Shannon. And I'm glad you got that in because we really want to get as many people doing that as possible right now. I mean, I'm going to mute so I can cough a little, y'all. Oh, we've got some uh, good news going on. I think our, our folks in, in Washington are, 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 are trying to, to do the best they, they can, the best they're capable of, of helping small business. Did you hear anything about uh, anything happening in Washington today, Liz? Uh, well, I heard that they had uh, approved the deal, but we're probably not going to hear anything more until next Tuesday. Uh, but good news, right? Uh, super happy. Uh, and they it didn't sound like too many changes sound like it did sound like they're going to put some focus on making sure that uh, um, lower economically, uh, what, what am I trying to say here? Smaller, the smaller, smaller businesses are going to be getting it. I think there's some, some set asides for, for, for women and minority owned companies. Um, I think it was like 320 billion for, for, for PPP. And they came out with like another, it was either 50 or 60 billion. I can't remember which for the EIDL. And I, I didn't, I didn't know this, but the original EIDL, EIDL was only funded to, to only $10 billion. You know, I don't remember hearing a lot about the idols being closed off either. I, I hadn't even heard that. I heard about it today that they refunded it and that it had um, closed, but I, I didn't even realize that. I got my money very recently, maybe Friday. When you say your money, the, the initial uh, emergency uh, part? Yeah, just the uh, advance. Right. Yeah. I did go to the, I did get my portal and I got my amount that I am approved for. We might want to talk about that a little bit today, Tom. I think there that is... Um, sort of a hot topic right now. Uh, what number are you supposed to be putting in? What are what are they expecting for COGS? I've heard a couple of people saying that you are not supposed to be including your payroll. I did. So my loan amount is much smaller than what I um, heard that some other people did. Other people took out their, their payroll and uh, were given a much larger opportunity. So do you have any information about that? What's Stephanie, what she got over here? 
310 billion in additional PPP funding, 60 billion in, diff, in additional idle, 25 billion to coronavirus testing, and 75 billion to hospitals. Sarah well, would like us to talk about the idle a little bit more too. But the original <laughs> funding for the idle was like 10 billion, so that's a ton yeah. more. None of that 60, um, at least the article I read, 10 of it is supposed to be a grant even though the SBA isn't using the term grant anymore, they're still leading us to believe it's not going to be paid back. So like the money that you just recently got, that's supposedly the 10,000, you're not supposed to have to pay that back. Right. So they're saying, and well, that's what it said on my, uh, something that they sent me to said it was an advance that was not to be paid back, something along those lines, but it was an advance on the loan. So, and I guess they're calling it an advance on the loan. Uh, my, my thinking is just because they want you to know that it is part of this idle package. It's part of this idle program that they have. It's not just some random 10 grand. This is where it's originating. It's part of uh, part of the idle. That's, that's my guess. Um, Sarah is on the fence about taking it. Um, and I think we've talked a lot about um, why I think everybody that we pretty much know is on the same page about about accepting the, the idol and then just deciding what to do with it once you get it. The first thing to remember is I don't really see any anything, a, any reason not to accept it, at least for the first year, since there are no payments due for the first year. It would seem like at the very least you need to apply for it to get the free money, the part that you don't Ten have. To yeah. yeah. The if you don't apply for it, you don't get that advance. And if they want to give you up to ten thousand dollars and you don't have to pay it back, I don't know of any reason why you would not want to do that. The uh, only reason I can think of why you might not want to do that is if you feel like you don't need this money and um, you feel like you want to make sure that it stays there for maybe other companies that are even smaller than you. Uh, that's the only thing I can think of. Yeah, you know, like some of the uh, larger restaurant chains who were kind of shamed and had to, they, they decided to give the money back. Yeah. But then after giving it back, it's treated like they were paying the loan off. So those monies can't be lent up again. So it really isn't helping anybody out. I didn't even know that Tom. Yeah. So I didn't realize that. That's a bummer. Yeah. But, you know, there's another argument too, that even those larger companies like restaurants in particular, you know, who's to say a year from now that, they're not still going to be struggling and just because you know larger companies go bankrupt too <laughs> so you know it, it you know you could you could you could argue that one both both ways as well yeah but um the the eidl loan that's a 30 year am isn't it so it is. i mean you're it's such cheap interest rates and you don't have to make a payment for, is it six months or a year? Yeah. A year? Yeah. Wow. Um, not, not unless you were just really, really, really confident that, 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 that you're going to be fine without it. Or, you know, if you can't sleep at night, borrowing money, I mean, there's, there's a lot of, I guess, reasons or, or at least some reasons why you wouldn't, wouldn't want to do it. But, um all things being equal i would would, would 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 do it and then pretend i didn't have it and make that my my you know safety net of last resort if you would uh, mary's asking a good question i hadn't considered this mary this is a great question does it say how long you have to stay in business after getting the loan I so that wonderful question i uh -huh. have no idea yeah, I mean, especially in our industry, that and especially right now, there are a lot of businesses um, not not choosing to continue, uh, especially 
some smaller businesses that closed, it's going to be an expense to get up and running. And they're trying to decide whether they have, you know, the, the will to push themselves. It's, it's not going to just be an easy, it's not just like you're going to say, okay, we're opening tomorrow. Let's just go in, turn on the lights and boom, everything's going to be running. That's not how it's going to happen. It's going to take some work. Yeah, I mean that's a, that's a that's a really deep question because you know, I, I've talked to some people that are really wrestling with, with with trying to figure out how to survive, and do you want to take these loans and burn through that cash and still be in a position where you're taking you know, the chance? Right now, you could go out of business. But do you want to take those monies and still not make it? And, you know, what is your liability then? And you know, are you going to have to pay those monies back? I mean, what are the supposedly it's unsecured. So supposedly you're not personally liable for it. But I'm sure there's a lot of there are stipulations in terms of what you can and you can't do with it. And if you got those monies and went out of business really quick. And if uh, the federal government looked into it and you know wanted to come to some judgment that you weren't using the monies the way that you were supposed to, I mean, you could get sideways with the federal government, I guess. So, you know, something that you would want to be careful about. What Leslie posted some information here. It's got a combination of stuff going on. She talks about the PPP and then goes into the idol then goes back to the PPP a little bit. Um, so um, you guys, I think that we have gone over the terms pretty well. The, paycheck, the PPP um, is basically the, um, it's the forgivable loan for your payroll um, and not all payroll, right? Two and a half percent only lasts for eight weeks. It starts at the day that your loan is um, funded that your account is funded and you have to be up full again by June 30th and an indeterminate amount of time at this point you have to how long you have to stay fully staffed after June 30th we don't know that yet it's part of the part of the sticky little widget there um, the idle is you get the $10,000 advance on the loan that is forgivable um, but the rest of the loan is a 30-year AM at 3.75, and I guess it's 2.75 for nonprofits. I hadn't heard that, so that's really good information there. Yeah. Um, up to $10 million. Another thing that we haven't talked a lot about is we're saying it's $10,000 um, up front, but it's actually, was that, no, I'm confusing myself. Everyone's $1,000 per employee. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't I've seen examples where it doesn't exactly work out that way. I mean, one of the companies that we have applied for the idol and it has zero employees on the payroll, but it's still got a thousand dollars. So maybe they, that's as low as they go. Yeah, I, I don't know. So Leslie is saying that she received hers, um, but her, I'm guessing she means her PGT, but her employees are all out on UI, so not sure what she should do now. Um, so yeah, I, I, everybody's kind of wrestling a little bit with how to, how to get up and running. And there's, there's quite a few questions. I, I have a, a little list here of things that people are going to have to figure out uh, moving forward. Uh, let's see. Uh, thanks from Mary, Leslie, cut and paste from a graph. Oh, that makes perfect sense. That's why it's a little bit wonky. Heather, I hope I didn't miss much, but did you go over being able to take both loans? Uh, we didn't go over that, Heather. Um, you want to go over that part again, Tom? I keep doing yeah, quick think, I go over that. I want to, I want to swing back to Leslie for, for a second though, because I'm watching this and this it scrolls off the screen, then basically, you know, I can't keep up with it. So Leslie's <laughs> going to a little bit. Where, Heather, you're lower down on my screen. You're going to be there for a little bit. Um, you know, if you if somebody is taking unemployment and you offer them a job and if they say, no, I don't want the job, I'd rather take unemployment, then if you choose to, you at least in the states I'm familiar with, you can let the unemployment 
office know, water agency, run your unemployment program know that you offered, you know, that person a job and then they would lose their benefits. Now, if you want to do that, if you think that's morally the right thing to do, or if you do it with the concern that you're going to have a hostile employee at that point, then all of those things are, 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 are real. Um, if you have your PPP funds, though, you do have some runway of doing some uh, call it, you know, COVID-19 bonus pay. And I know that Liz, this was, I heard you tell me that, that, you know, this idea, and I thought this was brilliant that you don't even present it like it's your money. You're saying, Hey, listen, the federal government's giving me money that I can give you more money to kind of make it worth your while to work during this short amount of time. But be mindful in eight weeks, I'm going to be out of that money and you're going to go back to your old pay. To be clear, this is just my idea of what I plan on doing if I ever get PPP funds. I don't have the money right now. So, well, yeah, that, that's my plan. Coming. I'm going to call it a, you know, I'm but, actually gonna call it a PPP bonus. They're, they're coming now, though, because we yeah. just went over that. So you just need to yeah, I'm waiting. figure out what you're going to do. I'm excited that. about it. Yeah, I'm excited about it. So the only reason I wasn't um, going to hit what Leslie is talking about is because I thought we could talk a little bit more about about that when we talk about the like um, different different strategies because there's a lot more than just one thing to do right how are you how are you going to deal with your people getting off of UI there's a lot of different things that we're gonna have to think about so um, uh, I, I do think that Heather's answer is sort of a quick answer Tom Yes. You want to that out? Um, yeah, you can take you can take both. Um, I'm not clear like some of the details. Like I understand the uh, ten thousand up to ten thousand dollar emergency part of the idea, which used to be called a grant. Now it's not called a grant anymore. But you're not supposed to have to pay it back. That that comes out of the PPP. I think I, I heard that yesterday. Do you know how that part works? Yep, that's exactly how I heard that it works. So um, you're not going to get that that $10,000 in addition to. I don't know why they were able to figure it out with our loans, but they couldn't figure it out with the unemployment. Um, but it's going to come off of the, the free monies for your PPP. But, but there that's are, my understanding. We know people who've gotten, who've gotten the $10,000 emergency and they've gotten... Uh, a, a much larger amount of funds for the EIDL to f fund the operating expense, if you will. All the all the money's below cost to get sold, and they also uh, got the PPP. Yeah, we do. Oh, St Sarah just started her PPP bonus this week. Great. How much are you paying, Sarah? And what do you have your people doing? That's great information. Did they start on Monday? Oh, you go ahead and respond. Let's see what Heather has to say. So we are told that just because we got the $10,000 doesn't mean we'll get the rest from them directly. Uh, I do believe that that is true, Heather. Um, just because you have gotten the $10,000 advance does not mean that you are automatically going to be approved for the rest of the idol. Um, you're still going to have to go through the rest of the process. Um, the application that you've already done, if you've gotten the 10,000, then you've done all you need to do for, 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 for the idol, I guess. Uh, you, I, unless, I, they reach, I, unless they reach back out and ask for more information. Yeah, that's, that's what I've heard. Both of the, I only know two companies that have actually been funded and both of those companies had to give more information. So I'm not sure. Um, doesn't mean that, and, and I'm guessing they already have this information too, right? So uh, I, I, I don't really know. Sarah is paying $2 an hour uh, and they're still open. So they'll only have to fill in the credit process. Nice. Um, Bridget wants to know, what if you already have your PPP, but not your idol? 
So I'll, mo most people, that was how it happened for them, Bridget. Um, I'm not exactly sure what you mean, what if you already have them. Um, you're in your best position if you already have your PPP because um, most, most people are, are waiting on that, not even know if they're going to get it. So you already have that, great. Chances are really good you're going to get your idle. Uh, we haven't heard as much problem with the idle. So I would say move forward, girl. Start start going. You gotta you gotta start spending that PPP money if you've already been funded to be able to get it all forgiven. Uh, Heather says, yes, that's true. They they told me now that they it's that they it's in the credit process. Okay. So once she got the ten thousand dollar advance, that it's now going through the credit process. Okay, that sounds good. Brenda, hi. How long is the course available to take? All right. So we have a few courses that we're working on right now, but I think the course you're talking about is the COVID nineteen course. And Tom, do you want to speak to that? Since I sort of beat everybody up about it yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Um it's available right now for free. If you go to um, Modern Cleaning website, you go to, um, yeah, that's probably the easiest way to get it because you can get to both videos and you can get to the uh, test to turn your uh, certificate of completion all off of uh, Modern Cleaning. Um, but it's, it's not going to be free for very much longer. Um, we're going to start charging for it. I don't even know exactly what we're going to be charging for it. It's not going to be a crazy amount of money, but it's got. It's going to be a little bit amount. I mean, it's going to be told, a in, in, I've been told by people that have taken the class actually that they believe that the the whole process means more. It has more value if there's some dollar amount hung hung on it. So I don't know. What do you guys think it's worth? What should we charge for it? We'll figure that out tonight, I guess. I'll, I'll take some recommendations. Um, you guys have taken other classes. What do you think a fair fair thing would be? I'm, I'm, I'm looking for feedback. We want well, to be- guys, Hopefully you guys are all getting it for free. You all know yeah, you where to put it. So get, and if you haven't taken it yet, get on there and take it and get your cert certificate. So because we're telling you clearly, it's free right now and tomorrow, I don't know when, but maybe as early as tomorrow, right, Tom? Yes. It maybe won't be. You might wake up, you know, it's just kind of like looking for your PPP money, right? You yes. just don't know when it's gonna show up. So <laughs> you, you might you might look tomorrow morning and find out that there's there's a, a, a fee attached to it. You never know. Yes. And, and I'm serious, this is serious, this is my serious face. Get in there and do it now because I promise you it's not going to be free for much longer. I, I, I really think it's, today is going to be the last day that it's going to be free. So we want you all to get on there and, and, and get everybody that you know on there too to get it for free. Now, on top of that, what do you guys think it is? What do you guys think is a good price for the other people? The other people who didn't get on the call and watch it. Anybody have an idea what they think would be good? Um, like... Well, for other people that want to take it, get, give me some prices. That would be super, super helpful. Tom's right. That'd be awesome. Um, I, we had a couple of things here. Um, uh, hey, Andrew Miller. Miller wants to know. Oh, I'm sorry. That's no, okay. I, I already queued up the number to the SBA, and I just okay. dumped that in the uh, the comments because somebody else wants me to give them the the link to Modern Cleaning. So. I didn't, right, so I didn't want to have to enter that in again because that's just too much work for me. All right. So um, Andrew wants, Andrew has a couple of questions. Andrew, I'm going to hit this one, but I'm going to go back and get your other question. Don't worry. She says, sorry, I missed what certification you are referring to. So if you look at our page, Andra, um, the, the same one that you're on right now, Cleaning Business Today, you will see some training from last Wednesday and Thursday. Um, at 90 minutes each and if you watch both of them then at the end you have the um, you'll you'll have the option to take a test it's not an easy test anybody that's taken it will tell you it's 20 questions and once you pass that 
you have to get, was it 75% or better? Is that right, Tom, to pass? Correct. 75% or better, then you'll receive a certificate. So go do that. Look on Facebook and you'll be able to find it. Also, if you, um, I think if you search in videos, you'll be able to find it uh, pretty easily as well. All right now I'm going to go back. Thanks, you guys, for putting these prices on here. It's super helpful. Yeah. But I, I'm still going through Facebook. We got a lot of questions here. So, Tom, any idea what happens if you only use 50% of your PPP funds for payroll and 25% for allowed expenses and return the unused? Does that get forgiven? Or how much gets for, forgiven? Some of it gets forgiven, all, right. all of it gets forgiven. And there's a formula that you have to, to go through and it's a lot of math. And quite honestly, I don't think they've actually, they haven't specified in detail even how all, all of that's gonna be interpreted, you know, because we were talking yesterday, do you have to jam in that last, some people are thinking that they're going to have to do two paychecks on one Friday to get the maximum value out of that, especially if they're ramping up from zero. And I'm hoping they're not going to do that, that they're going to let you like a crew, do, use a, what they call accrual accounting to, to do the math. Um, we don't know. I don't know. I don't know if anybody knows for sure, because there's a lot of smart people that are trying to take these general concepts that the actual uh, regulations haven't been, the people that are going to be able to keep a score of that haven't figured out yet. Marcia actually says that too, Tom. She says, with the current equations, it cannot be fully refunded, which is also my understanding. If you don't use, if you don't have all of your people up and running by June 30th, it won't be fully refunded, but they're still changing the guidelines is what she says. That's mm -hmm. also my understanding. So we're still in a wait and, wait and see mode. Yeah, and, and, and I guess just to be, you know, completely, just got let you guys know where I am with it, and and, and Liz will, will attest to this, that I tend to be, what's the term, anal, when it comes to stuff like this, in terms of just really wanting to, to know, and um, I don't really care anymore. I mean, I care, but I don't care enough to spend every waking hour trying to figure it out, because... The story hasn't been written yet, so I think it's a, a wiser use of, of my time and my sanity just to kind of understand the general idea is if I use some of it the way that it's intended to be used, I'm going to have to pay some of it back, and I probably won't know for sure what that is until the whole thing's over. And but you'll have it. I'm, Don't forget, you'll have it. Yeah. 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 So you'll have it. I mean, so this, that's the part that's scary for people, I think. Yeah, as long as you're paying people to do productive work, you should really be in great shape. I know, yeah. you know, if you're paying people to stay at home, then I can see scenarios in which you might get yourself in trouble. But I say in or, trouble. Or you know. training too, Tom. If you have them only doing training, right. you could get yourself into a little bit of hot water. So you you do have to be thinking about that. Maybe, yeah, uh, you know, certainly, certainly, you 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 might wind up getting a little bit. Of, uh, yeah, you could. We we really don't. Yeah, we don't know. know the details. Yeah, I feel. So I feel Tyler, the, 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 you know, you can fill a library with 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 books on stuff I don't know, and this is <laughs> second library over here. <laughs> yeah. So there's a, a small amount of stuff that we do know. So. We're trying to focus more on what we do know and taking advantage of that stuff and then protecting ourselves as much as possible from what we don't know. Uh, yeah. So there's some great comments in here. Tyler has um, a comment about what he's doing with some of his PPP money. He got all of his team back from UI starting this week. So they're all on unemployment. He got them all back and he's using their PPP to fund their pay. He's paying their employees who stayed on board over the past month because he was still operating um, a salary of 20% above the average weekly wage that they were getting. And he reduced their hours to show them things. Um, he reduced wages for the employees who aren't working or who didn't stay working by 20%. And he's paying them salary 
until they start working full time again. Well, that's interesting. That's an interesting. So no. Tyler, I wish you would have posted that in the mastermind group um, today. I would have really loved to have talked to you about that. So uh, I guess what we're going to be talking about in the MMA tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for posting. Uh, yeah, there's there's some stuff in there I'd like to kind of dig at just a little bit. Um, yeah. That, that's an interesting, and it, and it reminded me of a, of a strategy that we talked about about yesterday that we'll just throw out since we're kind of all in the same area code of how to manage the PPP and deal with, you know, the unemployment benefits. Um, we figured out that in a lot of states you can get partial unemployment. And as long as they're, as long as your, your, your cleaning professionals weekly pay is less than their maximum state benefit, they would still get some additional funds from the state in terms of unemployment. And if you get any money from the state for unemployment, you're getting the full $600 from the federal government. So that's just another strategy to get people to come back to work that would rather draw unemployment. It's like, well, here's the compromise. I'll bring you back part time, but keep you below the amount that, that would, you know, not going to work you so much that you'd still lose all of your unemployment benefit and then you'll still get your six hundred dollars that's kind of it's kind of like the best of all worlds until you get so busy that you you, you need them all the time yeah oh uh, let's see marcia says talk to your accountant about your p about the ppp yes absolutely um those funds are going to have to be tracked very very carefully so uh, I, most people that I know are planning on putting it into a separate account so that they can have clear, trackable proof of where that money was spent and how it was spent, especially because not everything's been written yet, right? So we want to make sure that we are doing the best that we can. But absolutely, talk to your accountant. Your accountant should know about the PPP. There should be no question about what it is. And if they don't, look at another accountant maybe <laughs> right at this point. And it's my understanding, and I've seen some letters from some banks that are pretty sobering uh, re regarding the accountability of this PPP funds, because it's my understanding that the banks that are making these loans on the back end of this, they're the ones that are going to be accountable in terms of determining, getting all the paperwork together to determine how much of that loan is going to be forgiven, it's going to be treated as a grant. And once they make that decision, they're going to turn that paperwork into the federal government. And if the federal government doesn't agree with them, then the bank is the one that's going to be losing out. So the banks are, if they're going to be wrong, they're going to be wrong in their favor. So they're going to be crossing their T's and dotting their I's. Yeah. They use the term, you know, a really, really arduous process to go through to get those, you know, those, those, loan monies forgiven or turned into a grant. Oh, so. somebody just threw a really angry face out there. I don't know if that means they don't like what you're saying. Or, or a really angry face just popped up. Sorry. Um, Shannon has a question, Tom. She says she's a solo business. Would I still be eligible for this loan even though I don't have employees? I just started my business last year. I'm not sure if she's talking about the idle or the PPP. We've been talking about both of those right now. Do you have um, some information for her? This kind of falls into the category of uh, I don't know if I. There's a there's a larger body of of, of knowledge which you know I've, I got an educated guess, but but I can't can't guarantee. But I would think that between IDLE and PPP, you would be entitled to some. Um, I'd go ahead and I would fill all of that out, and you know. The only way to know the only the only the only way to know for sure is to ask. And the application process is pretty darn easy, especially if you're new to business. It's going to be even easier. What's it going to hurt? Give it a shot. Uh, let's see. We have a couple more things in here. A lot of people are asking about the a link for the class. Tom, is it? Do you know how to get a link to the oh, classes? Yeah, Actually, I know I did because I put it in my face my private Facebook group. I put the link. If you go to moderncleaning.com, it's right there above the fold. And you've got 
you know, the first video, the second video, and the test, and it's it's all right there. Just watch the part one, watch that first. Part two, watch that second. And the third part is take the test. So, Diana, um, right there, he put the link in there. Uh, ModernCleaning.com. You're one of the people that asked about it. So, hopefully, you can see that. Um, Bridget is saying, no, not tomorrow. My staff need till the end of the week. Pretty please. Bridget, I don't think that's going to happen. But you know what? Bridget really wrote us that wonderful testimonial, Tom. We might have to make some special deal for her. I'm just saying, maybe. Okay. Well, Liz, you, you, Liz, is, Liz, Liz handles all those details. So we'll, we'll, we'll talk, Bridget. We'll talk. All right. Andra says, sorry, missed what certification you are referring to. Same thing, Andra. Go to moderncleaning.com. Check out the the um, two different classes and get that certificate. Is this available in Canada? I missed the last call, sorry. Yes, Vic, oh, I, no, Vic, I think you might be talking about the PPP. Oh gosh, we're getting lots of messages. <laughs> people, people don't like that it's ending. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, um, no, I, I don't, this is a, a an American thing, sorry, I don't, know what your guys's programs are up in canada do you have any insight into that at all tom i know nothing i've read a little bit and i think there are some programs in canada to assist small businesses but i have no details on but i bet we know people who do i mean if there's an interest we might be able to yeah yeah we can find out hit us up vic if you need us to get that information one of the things that we like to do is have Tim, Tom tell it like it is. So you give us some information and we'll have him tell it like it is. Uh, so Linda's price is, price point is $49.95. Diana is $40. Heather is kind of leaning in, along what I was looking at. Maybe a company fee for over a certain amount of people and $39.99 each or over a 10 employees maybe go a little bit lower. lower. That's my girl right there. We always think alike. Uh, Leslie is saying $99 and she feels really strongly. She said it twice. And Shannon talks about, oh yeah, we already talked about that. Um, oh, how did we, oh, my thing is jumping. How am I going over the same stuff again? Um, thoughts on giving a large staff bonus at the end of the eight weeks. Um, if you have not met your payroll allowance. Hmm, what do you guys think about that? What do you think, Tom? I, I, can't, I can't question the question. What was that? Uh, so her thought is, what What if um, at the end of the eight weeks, she hasn't spent all of the money that she bonuses her staff? The problem is it goes toward the uh, number of people that you have employed, yeah. not the amount of money that you spend, Linda. Almost <laughs> caught me. Was that a trick question? Yeah. I mean, if it worked that way, I'd put myself on the payroll and give myself a really big raise. Yeah. Oh, Tyler's posting in the MMA group right now. I'm just now catching that. Good job, Tyler. Thank you. Okay, you're out um, of the doghouse now. Yeah, you're out of the doghouse now. Um, Rosemary is also saying don't do it till tomorrow night. She has two people coming in to watch it then, but maybe 100? <laughs> She's like, I'll give you more money. I'll, I'll, I'll say everybody else should pay more if you let it go one more day. <laughs> Uh, Marsha's accountant says, don't do it yourself. Let them figure it out. Don't do anything sneaky. Don't try to abuse it. Yeah, so to be clear, we are also saying the exact same thing. We've been saying that from day one. Um, just remember that this is a program, or there are multiple programs that are been put into effect to help us. Nobody should be abusing these. Nobody should be doing anything sneaky, tricky, do the best that you can. You're all on here. We can see that you're all trying to figure out how how to do the right thing. Yay. We applaud and appreciate that. And let's all continue to do that. Um, let's see. What do we got in here? Do you know? Oh, yeah, Leslie. Do you know if there is a way to log in to see your balance and the status of the loan? Yes, that's the number that Tom posted up just a little bit. Um, a cleaning business today. He posted a phone number. I don't know if you can post that again real quick, Tom. Might be easy. Sure, it's on my speed dial. All right, and that it is. He's probably not kidding. 
that number, what you guys want to do as a reminder, if you're on the call yesterday, call that number and ask them if you could please get um, them to send you your portal information. Now, you might have to call a few times. Uh, you might call the first time and they might tell you, oh, your loan is already being processed. And so they might try to push you off or they might say, uh, yes, we we have that information. You'll be getting an email in a few days or they might tell you, I'm sorry, I, I'm not authorized to do that. All of those answers are answers that people have gotten on one, two, three, four, five calls. And on the sixth call, they got sent the link. So. If you want the link, keep calling. Uh, at least uh, as of, of um, earlier today, I know someone that did it today and um, got the correct answer after the fourth call. And, and it appears that unlike a lot of other call centers where there's a history of your activity, like most call centers, if you call them five times, somebody's going to eventually say, well, you know, Mr. Stewart, this is the fifth time you call today. Are you sure that, you know, you, you know, they would, they would call you out on it, but it appears that these guys have no idea that, that you called previously. So every call is kind of like a new adventure and they think that, well, this is the first time you've ever spoken to them. Yeah. So you don't have to feel bad. You can just be nice. Okay. Thank you so much. Click dial again. <laughs> And, the, and they are all, I mean, I haven't found anybody that hasn't really been awesome from, from just trying to be friendly and trying to be helpful. You know, awesome. there's some people that you really kind of get the impression that they don't really know much about, you know, what's going on, but that might not be their fault. You know, it could be there's new to the game. I'm sure they've hired a ton of people to help with this. Yeah, I'm, I can't imagine that they haven't. Uh, so we have a question from Amelia, Tom. She says, I'm the owner and I don't qualify for unemployment. Can I pay myself with the PPP loan? That's uh, a question for your accountant. Yeah, I, I don't mean, know. I haven't, I haven't read anything. I haven't heard either. Yeah. This kind of falls under into the area of my guess would be, yeah, you could. Now, if that would be considered as something that would be forgivable or not i don't know but again i would check with my accountant on that before before going there because i i don't honestly know we have another question here oh another person sue ann goche would like info information for canada as well tom so we've got a couple of requests now for the canadian um information um, Michelle, can I get the link to that two-day training that we did? Uh, go to uh, Facebook page, uh, Modern Facebook page, Tom. Actually, right. it's all on the website. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this up real quick just to okay, good. see if we Tom can. Will, I'm gonna pull it up since we have a lot of people keep asking. And right. Michelle's asking for the certificate. So to get the certificate, Michelle, you have to watch both trainings. And then the certificate information is at the end. You have to take a test and then you get the certificate. Can, so, can I mean, I do think this certificate has a lot more value than some certificates because it's not just a participation certificate. It is actually that you participated and actually paid attention and learned something. Again, the test is not easy. If you don't take the two days of training, I promise you, you won't pass the test. So it, it, it's, does have um, some some real value to it. Go okay. ahead, Tom. I'm sorry. Can you see, can you see my screen? Yes, it's showing the moderncleaning.com, the website. These guys okay. just go to moderncleaning.com, and here's the first video you want to watch is right over here on your left. The second one it says part two is on your right. Each one of these is right at 90 minutes, and Finally, you click here to uh, take the test. And they'll ask for your email, your first name, last name, your email. You take the test, you pass it, you'll get an email with the certificate of completion attached. Uh, let's see, Heather says, could you make a price for a business to use for multiple employees? I'm just putting together stuff for the staff while, while, they're, while she's laid off or they're laid off. They're happy to do it, but need to give them some time to watch the episodes and then take the test. <clears throat> Deborah, oh, Deborah, hey, Debbie. Um, she just says she's watching. Uh, Steph, she's called the SBA number a few times and they don't give you an update on the status of your application. Call back, gotta keep calling. 
um, <laughs> it worked and I got my, okay, so Heather um, is one of the people that it worked for her and she got her money the very next day. Uh, Martha, you cannot get paid yourself on PPE unless you had a profit for last year's taxes. Okay, that's information I didn't have before. So I haven't read that anywhere. So um, great, good. I'm guessing maybe you got that from your accountant. Not sure. You're welcome, Ashley. Huh. Yes, Marsha's correct. Part of the value in the training is that the information is coming from some someone other than you as the manager or boss. Yeah, that's totally true. Did I yeah. actually catch up? I was feeling pretty far behind that for a while. You know, Liz, we've gotten a lot of people all, you know, over the last you know couple of weeks here asking for additional training, more training. Uh, anybody, you know, what what do you guys what do you guys want? I mean, we've got you know, we've got training. <laughs> we you know use we a lot have a couple of programs that we are launching here, you guys, within the next uh, week and two weeks. We have some stuff that we're doing. Um, we're trying not, we don't want to make it seem like we're just throwing it out there, kind of trolling. Uh, we do have some stuff that we're doing. Um, but if you guys have anything interesting that you want to see, let us know. We know what we're doing <laughs> yeah. because it's what we're good at. That's what we're doing. We're, we're doing what we're good at. And we're, uh, and mostly this is about Tom, truthfully. Tom has a lot of expertise um, in, in this area. This, this, environment this new environment that we're going into is was almost created for tom uh how much how much research and development has gone into so much of the stuff that you have in janice too not just you yeah janice, most, so much. Are, we might we might have to get her on on one of these just to i know that i mean yeah. Some of you, a lot of you know Janice, some of you know Janice, but if you haven't been in the industry a long time, uh, she used to be a lot more involved in, in RXC and I guess she has been spending more of her, her recent years uh, with kids and kind of doing some other projects. But we've taken this as a, as a real opportunity to, to dig back in on the science of cleaning and to take a lot of the work that, that, that we've done over the years and, 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 and put it in a format. I mean, we've used it internally for, 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 for a long time, but to put it in a, in a, in a format that can be useful to, to, to other cleaning businesses and cleaning professionals. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Marcia is saying there's not enough training out there for residential and light commercial cleaners. We agree. We, we agree. There's not, and there's that part of the problem is that there's so so much that needs to be turned into training and it's um it's kind of overwhelming you guys there is so much that people want to learn about and and hear about and, and need to know about and it's all different levels of company right um everybody is looking for something different if you're new to the business been in business less than two years you really want to know about, well, and this information is for older companies as well, but you really want to know what kind of vacuum cleaner should I use? What kind of microfiber? What kind of products? What's the names that people use? So when somebody's been in business for 10 years, they're probably not talking a whole heck of a lot about that. So, so many different training things out there um, that, that training needs out there. And so many people looking for training too. And, uh, sorry, how would you clean wood floor and wood furniture and wood floors? So many different things. Up. I'm with you, Betsy. We're on the same page. Yeah. Um, so that's some information, some just how to clean type things, huh? Yeah, and a, lot uh, of training, a lot of the training that we've done over the years has been focused more on the management side of the business. But, you know, prior to that, we, you know, most of the material that we were developing was how to remove soil from a surface and dispose of it in a responsible way. We've, you know, written a couple of books about it. We help put together other large training programs for, for, for the industry. And we're kind of working on taking the whole body of work over the years and, 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 and putting it together in something that, that, that we can share as a training program. And we, we will have something 
we'll have more details over the next couple of days, but but we'll have something that we can 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 put to to work and and get in your hands by end of next week, if not sooner. And this hasn't been our focus in the past. We have usually focused on let's bring business owners together for a chunk of time, spend a, a large chunk of time, and really drill down on 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 the work and go home with some stuff that is completely implemented. We're still very much about that process, but it's also exhausting. It takes a lot of energy, a lot of time, a lot of preparation. It's been very expensive for us to put on. And so we realize that there is a very strong ongoing need that we want to fill. Um, Leslie says, I'm putting together new practices. Would love training on your new practices as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, who was it that I see? Oh, Marsha. Marsha says, I hope it's Marsha and not Marcia. Um, but uh, Marsha uh, took the HCT training, I think. She says a three-day training in Las Vegas this year, and it was huge. The HCT, House Cleaning Technician Training. So happy to have had it. Was going to send all of our cleaners this year. Uh, let's see. Audra says it's still so new. And I'm guessing, oh. Tom, do you have your books handy? Marsha on Betsy wants to know what the books are. Marsha, training the consumers that are we are worth paying more money for. Yes, so um, sales. Sales is a big piece of the training, Marsha. Uh, and, and training, um, sales is going to be different in the post-COVID world, too. So really interested in digging into that a little bit. Go ahead, Tom, with your book. This is, this is one of them. We have another book. That primarily Janice wrote a few years ago on chemical free house cleaning. Um, this is kind of the, the handbook for the for the HCT training. And uh, Janice, myself, uh, I saw David Kaiser. He was uh, one of the off authors. Bruce Vance. If any guys, you, any of you have taken the class recently, Bruce is uh, doing doing most of the training on that. And uh, Derek Christian and uh, Sarah Vance, uh, Bruce's wife, all helped put this together several years ago. Here is another book that we have been talking a lot about, um, Protecting the Built Environment by Michael Berry. Uh, it's another really great book. I, I've sent, now four people have asked me how hard of a read it is, and I sent them screenshots. <laughs> so I'm just showing you. That, if you need to read. That book is like the Bible. If you want to get into the science of cleaning, the nerdy part of cleaning, if if if, if that's that's what you're about, then you you owe it to yourself. Anybody who cleans professionally, especially if you're running a business, that's a good read. And this book was fifty dollars. That's what my price tag says on here, which. Um, I, I thought it was a great price, and I've used it for years. It's a great book. It's, it's a great resource. I got, I got um, people asking about the, the books. I'm going to, I mean, we still got a little bit of time, I guess, but I'm going to flip over to, um, I think. Uh, I, Sarah, you missed Foundations. Sign up, girl. Foundations. Uh, what is it, Tom? February or March 2021? It's next year. I think it's, next year. I think, I think it's early March. Yeah, I think I can't remember if it's February. We went back and forth. We had some some struggles with the dates. But Sarah, you need to be at the beach, girl. Sign up. Um, you, know, up. you know, you know people who know people who know how all that's working. You need. Yeah, to. your buddies know. Hit them up. So uh, we know that some things that are general comes. Go ahead, Tom. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. I'll just okay. Cleaning business today over here. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. It's cleaningbusinessday.com. But I'll send you this. I'll, I'll share this link as well. If you go to coronavirus dash downloads, here are a bunch of links to all the materials that we shared over the last uh, how many weeks, Liz? How many weeks we've we been doing this? Three, Tom. No, Liz, we've been doing it for five. Um, Three, Tom. Five. You lose. Three. You lose. <laughs> yeah, but I I lost. Been doing it. She's like three. I said over four. It's been five. Tom but was right. Five weeks. Somewhere. Like so, Y'all are good company. Do what? I? I said it doesn't feel like it. They're all good company. 
Yeah, it goes time flies, doesn't it? Yeah. Here you go. Right here. Here's the uh, professional house clean technician's manual. This is uh, the, the the one that uh, is for the ACT program. Was written for the ACT program. Protecting the built environment. This is the Michael Berry book. You can click on either one of these links, and it'll take you right to a place where where, where you can buy those. Um. There you go. Uh, so Tom says, I mean, Audra says, um, we know that some things are general when it comes to cleaning. However, do you think every building needs a cleaning prescription, so to speak? So I'm guessing uh, scope of work. Yeah, cleaning prescription, scope of work. Yeah, love it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, I, I like your terminology there. It's cute, yeah. catchy. Every, uh, every, every, every home, every place you clean should have a what they call a site-specific scope of work that would identify the unique uh, needs of the people who use that space. We are the house clean space, the people who live there. Um, we, we, we touched upon that in the uh, the COVID-19 training, but uh, we'll be we'll be touching that in, in, in more detail in the, uh, the program we'll be uh, be talking about more next week. But yeah, you want a site specific scope of work. Tom, can you hold up the um, HCT manual again? I I know I have one here, but I, I can't see it. I'm on it. Okay, awesome. Somebody else asked about it. Um, Tom, do you have anything to say about this? Sue Ann Goche again says, would love to hear, would love to have HCT training and certification. Do you know of anything in Canada? Hmm. There's some some okay. online programs that that they're starting to to, to be done. I don't know. Typically, but typically, we're going to have a program real soon, Tom. <laughs> we have a program real soon. It's, not, it's we he have. Doesn't a, want to tell because it's not all written out, oh, every single that. detail. He's not good at that. He likes it's everything. Too far, too far. It's, it's 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 a complicated answer. Okay. Um. We're gonna have we're gonna have we're gonna have a program th that we're gonna be sharing really really soon. That's gonna give you the information that as a cleaning professional you're gonna want to have, and there's gonna be a rigorous test associated with it, and it's gonna be more easily accessed. I mean, there's a lot of it's it's gonna you know it, it, it's gonna be good. I guess I'll, we'll just just leave it at that. You know, it's gonna it's gonna be more easily accessed. It's gonna be more affordable. It's uh, You'll have knowledge and you'll have it forever, but you won't have to pay every year to to be able to, to, to say that you have it. It's complicated, but uh, what we're doing is gonna gonna be good and it's gonna be coming real soon. See how I'm not saying anything? You're doing I, I always let all the cats out of the bag. Okay, Leslie, I'm posting just for you, protecting the built environment. That was the name of it. Love my cat. Thank you. Everybody loves her. Her name's Olivia. She's a sweetie pie. Um, Heather loves that terminology. I know. It's awesome. Um, we're amazing. Thank you, Kimberly. A scope of work is taught in the HCT program, David. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Hey, um, okay, I'm hey, Yes. Can I go back and give a, a clear answer to the question you were asking me? Because I, I, I think people need a full explanation sure that'd be great tom yeah the certification program the formal certification program that goes with that that this book was 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 originally written for is administered through an organization called iicrc it's a wonderful organization they do certification programs for carpet cleaning and fire restoration and water restoration and for a lot of industries like if you're uh, doing uh, like fire restoration work or flood, you know, restoration work. Most of your most of your your compensation for for doing that work comes through insurance companies. And insurance companies won't even work with contractors unless they have IICRC certified technicians who've had the training on how to dry a house out properly, or you know, even carpet cleaning. If you uh, look at the warranty associated with your wall to wall carpet, it says if you don't have it. Uh, professionally cleaned by an IICRC certified carpet uh, cleaning technician, then uh, your warranty is is, is possibly void. Um, 
David Kaiser, myself, uh, and a handful of other people got together maybe a dozen years ago and were approaching organizations to put together a certification program. And IICRC uh, was was willing to support us and help us do that. It was great, and it's been been really good for the industry. But the class typically or traditionally has always been a a face to face two day class, and with a with an additional fee associated with taking a, a an exam and those monies go to to IICRC and then after the fact um, every year in order to formally keep your card and say that you're IICRC certified technician you have to renew your membership fee with with IICRC so there's a lot of fees associated with it that if you do work with insurance companies and or if you're in the restoration business it really has value um i've gotten a lot of feedback from a lot of people over the years being involved and supporting and even before liz and i got together and doing cleaning business builders the genesis of that was a company called institute for service excellence and we started that company for one reason and one reason only and that was to administer the hct training and a lot of times people were, were frustrated by having to pay the extra fees associated with the test or they're frustrated by having to keep their 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 membership fees for a year, every technician it takes that they have to pay a fee every year in order to keep that certification current and then if as a company if you want to say that you have certified technicians you have to pay an additional fee as a company just to say that so you know we're putting together a program that's going to help people have the knowledge they need to to be professional house cleaners without all the administrative overhead of i don't know some i've heard people refer to it as just a tax um so that's what we're doing and and uh we're going to have that out real soon does that make sense right. yeah i wasn't paying attention i'm sorry tom Come on. <laughs> kidding. Yeah, no, it, you did a really good job of explaining it, Tom. So it, it, is, a, it is a harder um, answer because there are, are different levels, different price points, different trainings, different people, how it works, the, the different certifications, certificates, you know, but there's a ton of stuff going in, into this decision too. And, and, the, and the IICRC training is, 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 is awesome. You know, Bruce is a dear friend of mine. He does most of that training now. He's awesome. David is 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 uh, Kaiser's on this call. I saw him earlier. He's certified to do that training. It's an awesome program, but it might not be for everybody. It might not be something that everybody wants to, uh, you know, take on all the additional costs associated with IICRC membership. So we're going to be offering you an alternative. Okay, so Tom, I'm seeing that protecting the built environment is $774 right now on Amazon. It's a really good book. <laughs> okay, so I was expecting it would be a little bit more since I had it for maybe a decade or so. I have like a half a dozen of those laying around the office. I might have to sell a few of them. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Gee. Weird. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Who knew? I told him to check. Oh, it's sold out. Is it sold out on thrift books? You know what? Uh, I think this, is, this is like uh, electrostatic sprayers. I bet people are buying this because of, of yeah. just trying to figure out how to deal with the coronavirus. Oh, maybe. I, I wouldn't be surprised, actually. I would not be surprised. So maybe what we'll do, Tom, is we'll give away one of your copies of Protecting the Built Environment to the first person who signs up for our class, for our new class that we haven't announced yet. Well, wait a minute. <laughs> if this were like 770. <laughs> no, you can't even get it. Talk about no, that. It's sold out. It's irreplaceable at this point. So uh, Leslie looked on, no, I guess it's 774 on Amazon. It's sold out on Thriftbook. Okay. Huh? Wow, must be. All righty. So, Tom, we did get started really late today. Not my fault. I totally kept telling him, we got to go. We got to go. But now we're really running late today. It's 3.13. Hey, Dusty, good to see you back again. I love your name. 
Um, so we probably should get out of here. Everybody, keep your eye out for the PPP money. Probably not going to see it until Tuesday. Say it again, Tom. The dogs are coming for me. <laughs> I heard hey, the birds thank earlier. Thank you for joining us. Uh, if you haven't taken the uh, COVID-19 uh, class and, 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 and test, please do that now. Serious face. No kidding. The window is closing fast, you guys. Get on there and, and take that, that train. Could you make a digital copy for, per, for purchase if that's legal? Oh, she's talking about protecting the built environment. I don't think that's legal. No, no, that would be <laughs> that appropriate. But um, um, we could sit and read it together. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> a little bit <laughs> it's not that interesting, you guys. Well, actually, that's not true. It actually is that interesting. I really could almost sit and read it, but it, it's, it is a really good book. Well, thank you, guys. We'll be here tomorrow at uh, 5 o'clock Eastern. You guys be safe. We'll see you tomorrow. I will be. I will be, too. All right.